So, almost nobody is talking about this palette, and I really have no idea why. So this is the Winsor Newton Cutman Fill Plus box set. Maybe that's why nobody's talking about it, the name is so long. And uh, I personally think it is a great option whether you're looking for your first watercolor set or, you know, just something small that you want to bring in, bring in your bag uh, all the time. Now I want to put this set into perspective when I talk about it and I want to compare it to the famous portable painter that I also have here along with its cups and yeah this little thingy here we are very familiar with this already so I wanted to check kind of like the difference and similarities between these two palettes now I have I'm gonna link both of this in the description so you can go and check them out so the first and probably the most obvious is that this set comes with 12 colors already so yeah this can be a big advantage if you don't really know which colors to pick because it's got you know the six split primary set so six primaries and a couple of greens some earth tones black and white that i still do not know why people use it i've been experimenting with it but yeah i cannot really find a <laughs> real good use for this one um and on the other side the portable painter even though i got some colors here it does, does not come with any paint so yeah it depends how you see it that might be a plus for this one or if you like to choose your own colors and you already have your pans around or even your tubes you might uh, yeah end up going for something like this that uh, yeah you can customize which colors do you actually want the other thing is that I'm not gonna be doing any swatches on this video because you can find swatch videos on pretty much every other youtube channel around on this sim similar colors at least so yeah i think I, that will be a little bit of a waste of my time and your time as well so yeah i don't i'm not gonna do swatches here but yeah let's jump into the next thing i want to talk about the brush that comes in here so this is the brush that comes with the set is nothing fancy at all it says it's a number five i don't know if you can pick that up or not yeah probably not it says it's a number five uh it's a very small brush and you know the portal painter also comes with a brush a very small one that i personally don't find very useful but if you have a small notebook you might you might use it i don't know not my case though the other reason why I think this one is comparable to the point of portable painter is that it comes with these water cups and it actually comes with four places where you can put them. So yeah, you can play with that, either uh, put one on each side or maybe the two of them on the same side, that's up to you. But yeah, portable painter comes with two as well. Also there's a big difference in the size. I did some testing and you can fill one of these big ones with around six or seven of the small ones so yeah it depends how much water you use um yeah this one might be a better option for you but still you got two small water cups here and i think that comes in very handy the next thing we can talk about is this water bottle you can fill this uh small water cups yeah a bunch of times uh, again like five times or so you can fill these small trays or small cups with this thing and i think that the fact that this uh, Winsor newton set comes with a water bottle it, it is just great it is just great because now you don't need to bring an extra thing with yourself you can just fill that up put it in here and that's it you don't have to bring something extra Whereas with the portable painter, you do need to bring an extra water bottle and it depends on the size. It can be a little cumbersome, but yeah, so there's a, a point here for the Winsor & Newton again. Now talking about the mixing space, you got a decent amount of space here with a portable painter. Um, I do like these three big wells. I'm not a fan of these small ones. And here, yeah, here you're just seeing this part. 
But this is kind of a transformer, the way I see it, because it's got a tray here and another tray here. So it ends up being massive, the amount of space that you have. A lot more than the portable painter. And not also a lot more, but even the small wells are bigger than here on the portable painter. So this is where this palette shines, in my opinion. And this is why I love it. And the last thing we can talk about in this video is the price. So at the time of making this video, these both palettes, uh, they are around $30 each. Now the big difference again is that this one comes with the paints and this one does not. So it depends. If you don't, do not have your own tubes around, this one may, may end up costing a lot more, you know, this portable painter. Whereas if you just want to, you know, just get something with ready-made set and nothing too much about it, yeah, this might be your option. Now after seeing all this, what do you think? What's your favorite? Which one do you prefer? Now, if instead of small palettes, you rather go for something massive like this, yeah, check this video, feel free to subscribe and to like, and thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Have a good one.